Hello Grade 10 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa si channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpapost ako ng bagong video. So for today's video ay continuation ng lesson natin that is about permutation. So ngayon naman ay i-discuss ko ang circular permutation. So from the word itself, or from the title itself na uh, circular permutation so circular so meaning that the arrangement of object is in circle form or pabilog so paano nag come up sa formula so paano nag come up sa theorem na ito? so the number of circular permutation of n objects is n factorial over n or the quantity n minus 1 factorial so, alamin natin kung paano na buo yung uh, concept na ito na ganito yung formula na gagamitin when we are talking about circular permutation. So, let's have this problem. Abby has to arrange four guests A, B, C, and D around a circular table. So, therefore, dito pa lang sa ating problem ay meron ng keyword na ginamit na i-arrange yung guest ni Abby na four, four guests sa isang circular table. So, therefore, ang arrangement niya ay pabilog or circle. So, what are the possible arrangements? So, maglisa tayo ng mga possible arrangements na pwede natin gawin uh, using A, B, C, and D. So, that will serve as our four guests. Example, A, B, C, D. So, this will be our first arrangement. So, ilagay natin sa isang circular table. For example, A, B, C, and D. So, another one. So, let's start with B, C, D, A. So, we have here B, C, D, A. So, let's start with C. C, D, A, B. So, we have here C, D, A, B. So, let's start with D. So, D, A, B, C. So, we have here D, A, B, and C. So, those are the possible arrangements. But, we cannot distinguish among these four arrangements unless one of the objects is fixed. So, masyadong magulo yung ginawa nating arrangement kasi walang letters or walang guest na fixed dito sa ating ginawang example. So, gagawin natin ay mag-fix tayo ng isang guest at gagamitin natin yung C, guest A, para ma-arrange naman natin yung tatlo pang guests. Para malaman natin yung exact na possible arrangements ng four guests in a circular table. So, paano yung gagawin natin? So, halimbawa, ang fix natin ay si A. Si A. Then, B, C, D. Next, fix ulit si A, then B. Pagpalitin lang natin si guests, C and D. So, dito si D, then dito naman si C. So, another arrangement, fix si A. So, this time naman, dito yung C, then dito yung B, D. So, another, fix ulit si A, then C. Pagpalitin naman natin si B at si D. So, we have here D and B. Next, we have here A, fix yung A. Then, dito naman si D, then B at C. Then, pagpalitin naman natin si B at si C. A, D, 
si B. So, ayan. So, mas madali natin nakuha yung mga possible arrangements kasi nagkaroon tayo dito ng fixed na object which is yung A. So, pinagpalit lang natin yung pwesto nitong tatlo. Si guests, B, C, and D. So, ayan. So, therefore, meron tayong six circular permutations for the guests. That is A, B, C, D, A, B, D, C, A, C, B, D, A, C, D, B, A, D, B, C, and A, D, C, and B. So, note that four permutations for the four guests were indistinguishable. The results lead to this theorem. Kaya naman, nagkamap tayo sa formula na for us to find the circular permutation, gagamit tayo ng the quantity of n minus 1 factorial. So, in this case, so, there are six circular permutations. So, gamitin natin yung formula. So, that is P equals to the quantity n minus 1 factorial. So, equals, your n is 4 because there are 4 guests minus 1. Quantity factorial equals 4 minus 1 is 3 factorial. And 3 factorial is 6. So, therefore, there are 6 possible arrangements. So, let's have another problem. So, find the number of circular permutations. So, nadita na yung ating uh, word na circular permutations. Of course, ang gagamitin nating formula ay the quantity n minus 1 factorial of 7 dancers. Again, kukuhanin natin yung uh, number of circular permutations mo may arrange itong 7 dancers. So, that is P equals the quantity n minus 1 factorial equals your n is 7 because there are 7 dancers minus 1 factorial equals 7 minus 1 is 6 factorial equals and 6 factorial is equal to 720 so therefore there are 720 circular permutations So, let's check using a uh, scientific calculator. So, that is 6. And then, shift. Tapos, itong symbol na X. Na may exclamation point. Equals. Ayan. So, there are 720 circular permutations. So, for our last example. So, here's our problem. In how many ways can 10 horses be arranged in a merry-go-round? Again, even though walang nabanggit na salitang kukuhanin natin yung circular permutation, so meron naman ditong keyword na merry-go-round. So alam ko na familiar kayo sa merry-go-round, so ito ay makikita sa amusement park at ang kanyang, at ang arrangement ng horses doon ay circular. So therefore, aalamin natin how many circular permutations are there when we are going to arrange 10 horses in a merry-go-round. And of course, we're going to use the formula for circular permutation. So that is P equals to the quantity N minus 1 factorial equals our N is 10 because there are 10 horses minus 1 factorial. So 10 minus 1 is 9 factorial. So what is 9 factorial? So, we have here 9 factorial. So, we have 362,880. So, 362,880 ways. So, there are 362,880 ways we can arrange 10 horses in a merry-go-round. Again, you, need, uh, you, uh, you have to remember na gagamitin natin ang formula for circular permutation when we are talking about arrangement na circular or circle. Just like 
yung sa merry-go-round or kaya naman yung sa circular table or kaya naman in how many ways we can arrange the beads in a bracelet so alam naman natin na ang arrangement na magagawa sa bracelet ay circular or pa circle so that's it for today so I hope that you learned something from me don't forget to share this video with the others give this video a thumbs up and see you on my next video lesson thank you for watching